Hello everyone, and welcome to the third writing vlog in this series. So, uh, as you can see, I'm not doing a, you know, proper intro in my room. I am at my computer because I have an opportunity to get some writing done, and I'm just gonna knuckle down and see what I can do in 15 minutes, so I figured that was a good you know, opportunity, may as well film a bit of the actual creative process for you guys, because I figured the last vlog was a little talking heavy, so I'm like, eh, let's actually show some more craft this time around. Also, I've been really not too motivated the last week. I mean, I'm still chugging along, it's not too bad, but, you know, anything to kickstart me in the process, so yes, welcome to our computer room. Um, before I get into it, one quick piece of news, which is phenomenal news, which is this project now has a title. This book, at the moment at least, is called Amnesty's Enemy. So the title came about because I was watching a YouTube video, uh, I forget exactly who it was by, but I'll link it down below, um, where they were talking about how to title your works, and so I kept brainstorming and doing stuff, and I came up with Amnesty My Enemy, and I'm like, you know what, this, this is a vibe, this is pretty cool, and I sat on it for a few days to check if I still liked it, and then I brought it up to James, and I'm like, I'm like, I love this, please don't give me any criticisms, but if you don't like it, just go, mm-hmm. <laughs> because I was just feeling very vulnerable about it. And, you know, he heard it and he went, mm-hmm. And he's like, can I make one tiny suggestion? Could you make it Amnesty's Enemy? And I'm like, brilliant man, you've done it again. Because it's a much better title. Um, but I like that it still uses the building blocks, effectively, that I came up with, so I'm really quite happy. It's really nice to have it um, done up with the title, and once again I have uh, done a <laughs> dummy cover, which, yes, it's a dummy cover, like, not gonna be the cover, but it motivates me. Anyway, uh, speaking of motivation, uh, let's turn around and get to it. Oh yes, and, and a brief disclaimer before I actually start, it's like, yes, this was completely unplanned. I just happened to have the room to myself for a bit, so I'm like, why the hell not do this? So, hence, I'm, I'm in a pajama shirt and I haven't really brushed my hair today. But, you know, you guys, you guys are here for the words, so you can, you can suffer. <laughs> it's not really suffering, but, oh well. Okay. Yeah, so at the moment, um, I am screen recording as well, so, I mean, why am I saying that? You'll be seeing the fact that I'm screen recording. Anyway, um, I have been jumping around a lot, which I do think has partially been responsible for my lack of progress, because I just, um, haven't, after I finished those first few chapters that I spoke about in, was it the first vlog? I don't, I don't even remember. After I finished the first few chapters that I just sort of hammered down, I haven't finished another chapter since. I've been working on a lot of them, and it has been really good from a sort of a world-building perspective to jump around, but it does mean that even if I finish a good writing session where I've done like 500 words or so, I don't have much complete to show for it. However, at the moment I am scatterbrained, honestly, and I don't think I can force myself to actually just sit down and write a chunk at the moment anyway, so uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. <laughs> One hour later. Okay, new batteries in. Let's keep going. I'll fill in that timeline later. I just I want to write. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make much progress tonight because the reason why I have the room for myself is because James is currently taking a nap. When either of us takes a nap, we lock these guys out of the bedroom because otherwise they jump on and this guy in particular meows at your face. But he is yowling, yowling at the bedroom door so loudly that I could hear him from here. So, um, 
No, oh, though he seems really happy now. Let's just reposition. I can do this. I can do this one-handed. All right, two hands to type. Oh, come on. We're having a nice cuddle. Okay. You're blocking my light. There's just a light shining up his butthole now. But, oh, well, um, forgive the audio, because it sounds like for me to get anything done, I'm going to have to devote one hand to this cat. Oh, let's see how. Let's see how we go. Oh, we can't stay mad at you, you beautiful. up to is I have scrolled down far enough that I am up to the 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 torture chapter uh, effectively um that I mentioned in the last video um this chapter is completed but it was challenging to write it, it really was even after I um you know took James's advice and sort of kept it more less more horrible thing horrible thing horrible thing but lots of anticipation and, and talking and, 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 and stuff and you know, slowed down the action in, in favor of reaction, effectively. So it's, um, it's sloppy, effectively. It's, it's definitely, normally I write pretty clean first drafts. I normally write something and I'm generally fairly happy with it. Minor tweaks aside, but I'll, I'll be pretty happy. This chapter definitely needs heavy revision, so I might just get cracking on that because, yeah, well, I think it's going to be interesting and... Um, I like tormenting characters, it's it's inspiring. No, actually no, that's a husband waking up. I'll be back. So the start of this video was a little bit scrappy. Apologies for that. I was all like, woo, I've got time. I'm, you know, I'm on my own. James is napping. I can write a lot. And then the camera battery and the cats. And then James woke up, which I mean, never get me wrong. I love my husband. I love his company. But I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Nope. I don't have the time I thought I had. <laughs> the writing is coming along. At the moment, I'm at about 23,000 words. Progress is a little slower than I would like, but uh, it's been a bit of a chaotic couple of weeks for me. So I'm not really you know, holding myself accountable or having it go on myself. It's just more like, yeah, I'd like to be further along, but hey, it's happening. Another thing that is happening is I am starting to name some more things. Uh, the name of Dayan's country, the one that invades the country that Tom and Nira are from, currently I've ca called it Wereland, and spelling is up here. Not sure about my pronunciation because uh, a friend of mine is a scholar of, um, like, Middle English, Old English, etc. And I was like, you know what, I'm having a real trouble with these names, I'm gonna pick his brain. And he sent me a whole bunch of stuff, including, like, an Anglo-Saxon dictionary, and it was very helpful. And then I, of course, kind of ignored all of it and just strung some stuff together that I thought sounded, well, looked cool and suitable. So I need to go back to him and be like, so, uh, how would you pronounce this? And is this a really stupid thing? Like, I don't want to find out that weather means, like, toilet or something. <laughs> obviously, and who knows, it might. And yeah, like I say, my pronunciation is terrible, but yeah, I'll find out, and then I'll be like, hi, I know I just forgotten all your other suggestions, but what's a good name for a country that's the opposite of that country? <laughs> I promise I bring value to the friendship too, it's just, hey, when you have friends who are very knowledgeable and talented, you should make use of their knowledge and talent as long as they're okay with that, and yeah, I happen to have good friends. But yeah, so that's about where we are at the moment. Not really much to report, so I will see you next update. Okay, wow. It has been like 1,000 million years since I filmed an update in this writing vlog series, so uh, apologies because I, I know at the start of this vlog I was all like, I'm going to make this less talky, and now I'm just going to be giving you a big talky update. But in my defense, my personal life was pretty chaotic from April through to, well, now, <laughs> end of September, particularly, like, 
May through to August was just... Uh, so I uh, just did not have, well, as you may know if you're a regular subscriber, I actually took a bit of a hiatus from this YouTube channel, but I'm back, baby, and, you know, have a little bit of an update on this project for you. So, a few quick things first of all. Um, I have hit 31,000 words on this project. I also went and redid my outline. My outline was pretty rough and scrappy, but I, um, a couple of months ago, I realized that I had actually, in, in because I'm writing out of order, I had actually switched the order that the POV chapters were in somewhere between the beginning and the middle, and so I had to reorganize things to actually make it a consistent order. I mean, I know it probably doesn't matter that it's gonna be this character, then this character, then this character, then back to the beginning, but it matters to me. I didn't want to have the chapters just being haphazard. I wanted to have a regular, you know, you get Dayan's chapter, you get Tom's chapter, you get Nearest chapter, then back to the beginning. And yeah, somewhere along the line I <laughs> messed up the order. But it was a really good opportunity for me to redo the outline, get that order right, but also more importantly, be able to give um, myself a better chance to do a more thorough outline now that I've got, you know, I've got the beginning style, I've got the end style, I've got a big chunk of the middle, and to be able to actually have more knowledge of my own story while putting together that outline. And while I was doing the outline, I actually realized that this project is probably going to be 28 chapters long, and at about my usual a chapter being around about 3,000 words, that's uh, 80, oh gosh, I forget my own numbers, I think an 82,000 uh, word book, or 81,000, uh, which means with my 31,000 words, I'm kind of actually like over a third of the way there, which is really, really exciting. <laughs> so as I just said, I have been working out of order continuously. Um, in good news, I've, I've pretty much got chapter one fully complete, or at least, you know, the first version, it'll probably change. And I, yeah, I've been working all over the place in the manuscript, which, especially given how chaotic I've been feeling lately, it has been helpful because I haven't had it in me this past four months to actually sit down and write something consistently. But hey, sit down and just jot a hundred words here or there on whatever chapter strikes my fancy at the, any given time. Yes, that I've been able to do. And given that it's the first draft, I don't really care. And also I... Again, as mostly a pantser rather than a plotter, I haven't given this project much forethought, so, you know, if I write something at the end and I just decide something about a character, I can then go back and when I'm writing on the beginning, I can see what's gonna happen later. And so I'm actually finding it's really, really good for me. So, and besides, the whole division between pantser and plotter, it's kind of silly, because some people just plan in advance, some people figure it out as they go, and Wow, that's exactly the opposite of the definition. Wow, I'm really not good at this. What I mean is, by the way, it's there's a thunderstorm out there, so apologies for the audio. I just, I wanted to film this update, damn it. But what I mean is, plotters still need to think about everything and plan it, and pantsers need to think about everything and figure it out. We just do it at different times. Some people do it in advance, some people do it on the fly. And there's really no right or wrong, there's not really a, there's not really the difference that people make there out to be. Gosh, geez, I'm not good with my words here, but I'm not doing another take because I am impatient and I want this done. I don't really have much to say about the work because I haven't really been making any big decisions or big changes. It's just sort of been a bit of same old, same old. Hopefully in the next vlog, I will actually be able to bring you along on the process more and actually talk more about the writing. But for the purposes of this update, like I say, just want to get it done. So what happened? What's happened? Um, I hosted another writing day back in June, which was quite a lot of fun. Didn't take any photos except for uh, we had a new participant this time around and she bought me a candle, which was shaped like, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, Fruit Loops, <laughs> which was really cute because her sister makes candles. So I took a photo of the candle. We were going to use the candle to time, like, you know, to you know, burn the candle while we were all, you know, writing. But then I realized with all, all of us tapping away on keyboards on the table, the, the candle, it, that was a safety hazard, to put it bluntly. I did also, once again, make a dummy cover. Um, I actually really like this cover. I think it's the closest out of all the dummies I've done to actually capturing a bit of the essence of the story. I was a little bit inspired by the covers of the Brandon Sanderson books and also there's some new covers of some of Neil Gaiman's books. So I don't think the whole white and painterly 
thing is a trend per se, but it does have some um, recent use by other authors, so I thought it was a cool vibe and obviously not gonna be my actual cover, who fucking knows, but again, inspiring for me, so I like it and I just wanted to share it with you guys. And on the subject of artsy things, James and I have been playing around in Mid Journey, uh, which is one of those AI um, programs that you've probably seen all over the internet by now, and I did decide to just put Amnesty's Enemy in there, and uh, this is what I got. Obviously, completely not <laughs> relevant to my story at all, but like, I mean, that's some pretty cool art, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I like it. I think the last thing of note I have to say is that I did actually post an article to my Medium account, which I will link in the description, it's one of my... The Medium account is one of my permanent links, but I'll actually put a link to the article I'm talking about. I did post an article where I talked about, you know, using vlogging as a form of effectively motivation, and that was pretty well received by my standards. I mean, I'm kind of a nobody, so <laughs> my standards are pretty low, but um, that was well received. Um, I believe I have a few new subscribers who've come through from Medium, so hello. Uh, as I thought, said in that article, yes, these vlogs are very rambly, but you know, good to have you on board. So yeah, all in all, that's another another weird spin-off, is not only is this keeping me motivated on actually writing Amnesty's Enemy, it's giving me food for thought that I can share on other platforms. It's this weird spiral of content creation, which feels very pretentious to say, but oh well, it kind of is what it is. So that's the last, you know, however long in a nutshell. I don't even remember what date I filmed the last update. Too long ago, that's for sure. Hopefully my next vlog will be a little more into the craft side of things and less into the me just going, hey guys, I've written some words. But We'll see how it goes. I'm really enjoying this process, as I've said multiple times, so however it ends up, I'll be pretty happy. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, please, as usual, I would appreciate thumbs up, comments, subscribes, all that jazz that us YouTubers ask for, and sorry about all my hand gestures, I'm in a really gesturing mood today. Anyway, not gonna get too off topic, not gonna make this video too long, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye bye!